Hello and welcome back to The Artful Chef. Miss M here with my Art 2 and 3 students. This week we are doing a sculptural piece. We are focusing on the artist, Louise Nevelson. And Louise is an American sculptor who was famous for these huge outdoor sculptures and these large monochromatic um, wooden wall pieces that she would create. So this is one of her pieces. This one's actually called Wedding Chapel. So she did a lot of pieces like this, just with wood and found objects and different things that she put together. The one thing that she always did in her pieces was that they always had a consistent color theme. So in your project this week, you can choose to have your color piece um, a monochromatic theme. You can do all one color or different tints and shades of a color but it does need to be monochromatic because that's what we are working on this week with our sculptural piece. So on our piece this week, we are going to take her artwork as inspiration for what we're gonna do. So I want you to look around your house and find objects that you have that you don't necessarily need anymore. So I have in this box, I have some bubble wrap, just regular cardboard. I've got an old, um, painter's tray that was my son's. We've got an egg carton. I've got some rope here. He's got a couple of different little painting things that he doesn't really use that we're gonna utilize in this. I've got a plastic lid, um, just some little cups, an old train. These are little dispensers for coffee creamer little individual service of coffee creamer. I've got some quartz here. I'm gonna take all of these random objects and I'm gonna put them together inside of a box. So I want you to, if you have a box, either use the box portion or if it's a box with a lid, you can use the lid. But I want you to think about building a sculptural style wall in the style of Louise Nevelson. So all of my pieces are going to be within this box. I'm gonna build it up from underneath where they're kinda of come out flush with this. But after I put them all together, then I'm going to paint them one solid color. I haven't decided yet what color. But what I want you to do is gather up some things around your house. Find something to put them in. Uh, like I said, either the, the lid to a box or a box, a shoe box. A box that comes in the mail really anything will work as long as you can contain all those things within it now I do have a hot glue gun plugged in here because that will hold everything the best if you don't have hot glue you could try using tape or regular glue depending on what the items are that you are using but they will need to be able to stay together so if you don't have glue and you fit them in tightly they might stay that way but you still have to be able to paint it in some way so now I'm gonna get started on putting this piece together. I wanted to stop for just a minute and kind of talk to you about what I'm doing. So I want my items to be flush kind of with the top of the box, the edge of the box. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting pieces to build up under here so that it will lift these things up. So when you actually get finished adding all of the pieces, then they will appear to be somewhat close to the same heights. So I'm just going to finish working around and playing with these different pieces and adding them to finish filling my space.
I have finished putting all of my pieces in here. I'm happy with the way it looks. It's all fairly uniform as far as height. I've got some things that stick up a little bit higher, but overall it's pretty consistent. Now on the last step, all we have to do is paint this whole entire thing the same color so that it is monochromatic. And I'll be back for the final reveal after the paint is dry. My paint has dried and I have my finished product. So as you can see, we have monochromatic and we have all of these different textures and things that are raised on your piece. So what I want you to do is, like I said, find a bunch of things around your house that you're not gonna use anymore. It could be toilet paper tubes. It could be paper towel rolls, um, old toys. I've got some old toys here from my son uh, cardboard boxes, lids to things, whatever you can find that you can put in here to incorporate. Once you spray it with color, it is amazing the difference that it makes in the overall appearance. So I can't wait to see what you come up with, and I look forward to seeing your assignments posted in Canvas. Have a great day! If you like what you see on our channel, we have art stuff and cooking stuff. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications for when we have new videos that uploaded. Between the art videos and the cooking videos, I'm sure there's something that you'll see that you'll like. So, like and subscribe. Thanks.